What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Tarleton versus Texas Southern college basketball matchup going down Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Tarleton and Texas Southern. Tarleton out of the whack in the CIT, um, coming in 16-4 and four in conference play as part of their 23-9 and nine overall record in whack play, while uh, Texas Southern on behalf of the SWAC, you know, coming in 16-16 and 16 overall. They went 12-6 and six in conference before losing to Grambling in the SWAC title game. So this actually should be a pretty good matchup, you know, um, between, uh, between two Texas teams. Um, but the thing for me here is always, you know, Texas Southern is battle-tested. I mean, you look at the non-conference portion of their schedule. Yeah, they went 2-9, and nine and the one one of their wins was against an unranked opponent, an, an online game. But, you know, they, they played a bunch of tournament teams. They played New Mexico. They lost They lost big. But, again, these are the teams they played non-conference. New Mexico, Arizona State, not a tournament team, but still road game. Virginia, tournament team. Creighton, tournament team. Oral Roberts, eh. Drake, uh, tournament team. You know, Purdue, tournament team. North Carolina a t that was that was that was a bit of a head scratcher on neutral floor, but you know they beat Howard on neutral floor. Samford tournament team. So Texas Southern doing what Texas Southern normally does, they load up their non-conference schedule to try to serve them better down the road, and you know it served them well in conference play as they were able to take down a lot of teams in SWAC play, but unfortunately they did fall short to Grambling in the conference title game. Now you want to talk about a team that you know performed well in conference. This this Tarleton team had the best year they had had. Since since coming up to Division One by a, by a mile, uh, you know the best season that uh, that uh, Charlton has had in conference plays when they went nine and nine in conference in 2022. This year they smashed that by going 16 and four, 23 and 23 and nine overall. Billy Gillespie doing a great job, you know, in Stephenville. Um, the thing for me though is is Charlton can they get the job done here because they didn't have a tough non conference schedule. Even the teams they played at home weren't tough. They did have a you know, a couple games against teams like Virginia and Bradley, and they played Tennessee on the road as well. So there is some some battle testing for for uh, for Tarleton there as well, but also home games against subdivision opponents. They beat UTRGV in conference by two. So it's hard to sort of gauge what we're going to see from Tarleton. But that being said, like I said, Tarleton was one of the best teams in what's, what was an underrated whack this season, you know, with solid teams like Grand Canyon, UT Arlington, Seattle was solid, you know, and Tarleton was the second best one of the bunch behind Grand Canyon from a record standpoint. And let's face it, even if Tarleton won the NCAA tournament, this, or, excuse me, the, the WAC tournament, they weren't going to make the NCAA tournament because they're in the fourth year of their transition period, the final year. So after this year, Tarleton will be NCAA tournament eligible. But this is the first year where we're really seeing Tarleton, you know, in consist, you know, like in, in a consistent home court um, environment on, you know, in a postseason tournament. I mean, 2021, they didn't have one. They had a shortened season. 2022, they didn't make it. Last year, 2023, they battled Radford on a neutral floor. But this year, Charleston gets a home game. They, they get to host the, this part of the the CIT. I think that's a huge deal for Charleston. I think they show up and play here. I, I get it. I want to, Texas Southern and a boatload of points in a postseason game is tempting considering Texas Southern has a great pedigree under Johnny Jones. But I think this game is going to mean the world to Charleston. I think they're going to get up for this game. And I think that uh, Tarleton gets the winning cover at home. I think they pull away from Tarleton, uh, excuse me, from uh, Texas Southern in the second half. So give me Tarleton here, lane the 11, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.